wanna be in the light as you are in the light. I wanna shine like the stars in the heaven. What are you doing? We started. We, I thought we still had time. No, we started like a minute ago. That's embarrassing. I know. Will you start while I hide my face? Okay. Hi guys, welcome to the zone. We are so glad you were here. We've got some fun stuff planned for you today. What is it, Pastor Kevin? Um, today we have some stuff, and then we have some things. Some stuff and some things. And then things. we have some wrap-up stuff and things. That sounds fantastic. Are you guys yeah. excited? I'm so excited. I don't think they're excited. Well, let's get yeah. excited by starting with prayer. Oh yes, it's a great way to start every day. So let's fold our hands, mm -hmm. close our eyes, bow our heads, and let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for today, for this time we have together. As we jump in and we learn about some miracles that you performed in the Bible, we ask that you would teach us, help us grow, help us know you more, and help us to go out and share this good news with all our friends and family. Mm -hmm. And it's your name we pray. And everybody says, amen. amen. Amen, amen. I feel better now, less embarrassed. Good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, so what do we do after that? I always forget this part. Um, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Let's ask them. Okay. Um, guys, do you remember what comes next? Prayer. Um, oh. Wait. Yes. Yeah. I hear something. You hear something? Yeah. Is it God? Oh, oh he's saying worship. Woo, worship. Let's do it. I want to shine like the stars in the heavens.
What's the matter? Are you okay? We could do okay. another song. Oh, I'm so tired from all the fist pumps uh -huh. and the leg kicks. Yeah, it's the best. And then I did that 360 backflip. Oh, Ooh. when was that? During worship. I get so pumped up about worshiping God, sometimes I just go a little crazy. Yeah, that, that was definitely a little bit crazy. I don't think there was any backflips in there. I, You're not supposed to do backflips during one, worship. Though, so now I'm just completely You might tired. get hurt. I'm okay though. Yeah. How was worship for you guys? Yes. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. All right, so um, we have something brand new coming for you guys today. What's right that? Now. What's that? TBK Newsroom. A newsroom? Yeah. Wait, TBK, the Bay Kids? The Bay Kids Newsroom, where we get to share stories from around the world and also straight from the Bible. That sounds fantastic. So what, what, what news do we have this week? This week, we're going to be going through our very first miracle. Not the very first one, but our first one. And that's Jesus raising his best friend Lazarus mm -hmm. from the dead. No way, I heard about that. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty cool story, but sometimes I mess it up. So we should probably just head straight over to the newsroom. Let's do that. And let them tell the story themselves. Okay. Let's go. Steven, how was that? Cinnamon roll, that looked delicious. Oh, that cinnamon roll was delicious. The second one would have been even better, but let me tell you what happened. Mm. My son came to me and said, Dad, have you ever seen a cinnamon roll? I said, mm. no, I haven't. Mm. He then took my cinnamon roll and threw it down the stairs. What, that's shocking. I know, I told him cinnamon rolls do not grow on trees. Oh, oh, <clears throat> hello and welcome to TVK Newsroom. This is Stephen Collinsby and I'm here with my co-host Marianne Summersworth. In a few moments, we will be bringing you our top story of the hour, but before that, some important news from around the country. Marianne? Hello, Stephen, and hello to you out there watching. Many interesting stories out there today, Stephen. Get a load of this one. A Florida man is asking the public to help him find his 18-foot banana. I didn't know there were 18-foot bananas. Apparently, the public didn't either. And he still hasn't found it, but keep on looking, folks. Let's do our part to help him find his 18-foot banana. And a Florida man gets in some trouble for practicing karate on some swans in a park. Hmm, interesting, Marianne. I've heard of some people using jujitsu on swans when they act up, and even some um, Krav Maga on some that are even more Absolutely. obnoxious, but never karate. How awful. I'm glad they're locking him up. Now, yes. by the way, here's a joke for you. Oh, yes, <laughs> let's hear it. Why do swans watch the news? Why is that, Stephen? To get the feather forecast. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of forecasts, mm. let's how will we check in with our very own weatherman, Anthony McSimberton? Hey Marianne, it's Steven! It's a little windy out here today! And uh yeah, don't worry! It's gonna be a great day tomorrow! Back to you! Thank you for that in-depth weather analysis, Tony. It's so helpful to know what's going on outside, isn't it, Marianne? Yes, indeed it is. Let's move on to our top story today, Stephen. Yes, thank you, Marianne. So, my favorite, here we go. So, I recently received a tax bill in the mail yesterday saying that I had overpaid my state taxes for 2003, 2004, and 2005. So, I got in touch with the tax people and sure enough, they said you did. And with the, all the interest compounded, they said it would basically, from my own, would just be a wash from previous years. So, in order to make the difference up... Oh, excuse me, Stephen. Yes, ma'am. Your stories are always riveting to hear, but I do believe that KTBK News Watchers would really like to hear about the news in the Tri-County area. Oh. What do you have for us today in the news? Oh, of course, of course. <clears throat> uh, so let's head to Lacey on the prowl, Leonetti, as she is on the scene of a major event. Lacey, what can you tell us? Hi, Stephen. I'm here. 
My name's not Steven. I'm talking to Steven in the newsroom. That's who we're talking to. He's inside that thing? No. Uh, hi, Steven. I'm here at the burial site of a man named Lazarus who was literally raised from the dead. I'm talking to Chef Flex today who was on the scene as a witness to the event. Chef Flex, can you tell us just what happened here today? Listen, Lucy, Lucy. It's uh, Lacey. Whatever. Uh, my name's actually Chef Flex. Emphasize the X. Flex. Yeah. Also, what is this thing? That's just a boom mic. Don't pay any attention to it. Chef Flex, boom. what did you see going on here today? Oh, right. Um, anyways, uh, three days ago I was here hanging out with the family of Lazarus. Lazarus. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, sorry, Lucy. L Lacey. Go ahead. Lacey. Uh, and I, I made a cake for them because, you know, Chef Flex loves baking. Um, and we were just celebrating the life of Lazarus. Lazarus. <laughs> uh, okay, so you were celebrating and, and then yeah. what happened? And then we buried him. Okay, so he was definitely dead when oh, you buried def him. Definitely, definitely, definitely dead. And definitely. Uh, so then what happened to him? I mean, all of a sudden he just comes back to life? Oh, no, no, no. So three days ago, we buried him and That's we were all right. sad. Yeah. Three days later, today, we threw another party to celebrate him one more time. And then people started getting angry. I was like, what are we angry about? We're eating cake, partying, celebrating. And then this random guy shows up in a gnarly beard. And Mary goes up to him and is like, why are you so late? And I was like, whoa, chill. He's here hanging out with us. And, and then who, she was, who was this man? Oh, uh, well, some people called him rabbi. Some people called him teacher. Then Mary called him Jesus. Jesus? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, I've heard of Jesus. I mean, he's really popular. It may have been Cheez-Its, though. I'm, no, I'm pretty sure it was Jesus, Chef Flex. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, anyways, he shows up mm -hmm. and he tells them all to calm down. And then he steps forward towards the grave and he does a Jedi mind trick. Whoosh. And so what happened when he did this whoosh? A big whooshing boom happened. Right, and what happened after the big whoosh? Oh, uh, you know what? It'd actually be easier if I just showed you and reenacted using my cake toppers. Uh, uh okay. All right, so let me show you this reenactment. Here's the family. They're hanging out, just hanging out in a circle, eating cake, talking about Lazarus and how cool he is. Actually, Mary was over here because she was watching me do all my cool tricks, actually. And then I came in and I was like, hey guys, check this out. Kick flip, kick flip, back flip. And then I came in and did a handstand on my skateboard, stopped and said, whoa, what up, Mary? And Mary was like, oh, Flex, you're the greatest. And then I sat down with them and we were talking. And then somebody showed up. Do, 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 do. And Mary was like, oh my goodness, it's Jesus. And she ran over and she started yelling at him. And I came over and I was like, chill out, Mary. And then I was like, who are you? And he's like, my name is Cheez-Its or Jesus. I can't remember. And I was like, what are you doing here? He's like, well, this is my best friend, Lazarus. And I was like, okay, cool. And he was like, now move out of the way, everybody. So everybody scooted out of the way. And as he walked closer to the tomb, guess what popped out? Ninjas! So me and Jesus teamed up and we fought all the ninjas. The first one came in, Jesus kicked him right in the face. Oh, oh God. And then he threw me at him and I knocked the other three into the air. And then it was just me and Jesus and we high-fived. And it was great. And we even jump kicked each other. And then Jesus went like this. Whoosh. Whoosh. And then you heard the Oh, it hit Jesus, but he's invincible, so it's okay. And then all of a sudden he, he, he says, Lazarus! Get out here, buddy! And Lazarus comes, does a front flip out of the tomb, they high five, and then they start partying, and then Mary gets up and she's so excited, she hugs her brother, and then Jesus is like, cool beans, see you next time. And then they walk off together as best friends. All right, well that's the story of the wait, day. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, if you want to see more of Chef Flex, tune into Chef Flex's kitchen on channel 1413, that's right, 1413, for more of Chef Flex. Thank you, Chef Flex. Well, thank you, Lucy. It's Lacey. Okay, bye. Back to you in the newsroom. I'm Lacey Leonetti, and this has been our top story of the day. I'm always on the prowl for new and exciting stories. Back to you, Marianne. Thank you, Lacey Lionette. It's Leonetti. Thank you, Lucy. It's Lacey. And done. Now, Stephen. Let's break down this incredible story because there is plenty to, to report about. 
What do you think of this Lazarus guy? Well, he certainly chose his friends wisely. I mean, after all, who wouldn't want Jesus for a friend, right? True, yes, absolutely. And I wonder just how heavy that stone was that rolled away. Stones back then were made much heavier than they are today. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a second, Stephen. We're getting some breaking news here. Hey, boys and girls. Have you ever heard someone tell you a story in such a way that it could only be described as a miracle? Well, today our story from the Bible is going to take us to John 11, where a man named Lazarus had died but was brought back to life. Oh, and, and by the way, uh, spoiler alert, in this story, uh, there are no ninjas. Sorry. <laughs> However, that would be really cool, wouldn't it? I mean, you know, definitely, definitely in there being like Kung Fu King to the wall, and there's like rocks flying everywhere, and, you know, Jesus be like, yes, Lazarus. Hold on. Let me get back to the story in John 11. Uh, <laughs> now, at this time, Jesus had been traveling and performing signs, miracles, and showing how great God is. When he got word about his really good friend Lazarus, who was deathly ill. Now, in the Bible, it says Jesus' response to this was, this sickness will not end in death. But didn't Lazarus die? More on that. Now, where Jesus was, he waited two more days before he traveled to where Lazarus was sick. And after he had gotten there, he had found out and was told that Lazarus had actually passed away a few days prior and was buried in a tomb. Now, Jesus was there. He was seeing all of Lazarus's friends and family, and they were crying and mourning. And in the Bible, it says that Jesus was deeply moved and he actually cried for those that were mourning and upset. And without hesitation, he went to Lazarus's tomb and asked that the stone be moved. And when the stone was moved, in the Bible it says, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And the man who had died came out and his hands and his feet were still bound with the linen strips and his face was wrapped in the cloth as well. And Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him go. Now, is that not an amazing story? You know, and what I love the most is that the Jesus who raised Lazarus from the dead back then is the same Jesus that we worship and pray to today. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it all makes sense now, Marianne. Jesus performed a true miracle in raising Lazarus from the dead. That is right, Stephen. Jesus performing one of his many miracles. That is truly something to behold. As always, thank you for joining TBK News, your source of real news at real time. See you next time. So. So, like I was saying, Marianne. Yes. I don't owe state taxes this year, and so now I can buy the cinnamon roll that my son threw down the stairs. That's how you get them. Yes, and I'm not going to share. Hi, guys. So we just finished our skit, and we had so much fun. It got really silly. But there's one thing that I want you to remember today is that even though we get really silly in our skits, that the message behind it is true. The miracles that were done are real. And we can have that for ourselves too if we invite Jesus into our hearts. And so we're gonna go back to Mr. Eric right now. He's gonna pray for us and give you that opportunity to invite Jesus into your heart if you haven't done that yet, okay? Boys and girls, Jesus is alive today. And if he can raise Lazarus from the grave back then, he can do miracles in our lives today. I wanna give you an opportunity, an opportunity to accept him as your Lord and your savior. If you have never done that before, I want you to pray with me. All you have to do is repeat after me. Let's go into prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you came and died on the cross for my sins. 
come and be with me and live in my heart forever. Please forgive me of all the bad things I've done. In your name I pray, amen. Boys and girls, if that is the very first time that you've said that prayer, go ahead and click that I raise my hand button. We would love to pray with you about this because there is a celebration going on in heaven for you right now. And as we go into our last song of worship, if there's anything else that you need prayer for, let us know. Type prayer in chat. We would love to pray with you. We gather here to give you thanks for all the good things you have done. We set our gaze on your grace. Your love so constant, love so strong. Everything good is from you. Father so faithful and true. That was crazy. Um, that one lady who like goes out and does the interviews, uh -huh. I don't know if she knows how to do her job. What was her well. name? Was um, it? Susan McGillicuddy. Susan McGillicuddy. I thought there was an L. Wasn't it like like Layla? Layla? Oh, you're right. It, yeah. And her last name started with L also. It was like Layla. Layla. Longietti. Yeah. Longietti Spaghetti something. I don't know. Yes. Layla Longietti Spaghetti. You're yes. right. Um, I do have to say my favorite part though was watching the G.I. Joes reenact. Lazarus returning from the dead. I, I had no yeah. idea that Jesus and Chef Flex like, were like best buds. Yeah, and that they fought ninjas. That was so cool. Yeah, I have to say I've never seen it like that before. Yeah, at all. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed our service today. Make sure you come back next week for some more TBK Newsroom where we have even more news, more stories, and a lot more fun for you guys. Absolutely. We'll see you later. I want to shine like the stars in the heavens. Get him. <laughs> 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 good. 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 Good.